Can folks see that? Yes, indeed. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you everyone for joining. Um, great turnout as always. I'm glad everyone could make it. Um, kind of a standard uh, update. Uh, introductions. Uh, we Everyone knows everyone here, so we don't need to do that. Uh, update on the ADB TR069 and CM software integration. Um, Lu Luca and Matteo, you're going to be talking about that tomorrow, so do you want to go into it at all right now? or? Um, yeah, so I've sent email with a bit of delay to Matteo and the team. Eric is also involved in the loop. Basically, in a nutshell, no progress. We've had some other projects we had deadlines for, so I've uh, took most of Danny's time, and uh, that's now behind. So Dennis, hopefully uh, next week, we'll uh, have something to report and uh, we will be having vacations in the week between Christmas and New Year and uh, that's it. Anyway, we will have a talk tomorrow with uh, ADB team at 11 our time, so that's the agenda. Hi there, Matteo here. Fine for me, and nothing more to add to what Luca said. Just a note that I wrote to to Luca. It's quite important to have, as soon as possible, an idea on uh, the ADB stack that we made available uh, to Purple teams before starting whatever integration. Then we we too have vacation from Christmas to New Year, so. No problem about that. We will come back on 2nd of January and we will go on with the, with the integration work. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, we've received uh, all the documentation and uh, I don't know, we had some discussions and had uh, discussion uh, last, was it last week, right? Or it was this Monday? I, I mixed up the dates. Uh, I think we had discussion last week, right? Last week, correct. Yes, last week, and uh, we got all the documentation from MayDB. Now everything is, we could call it clear, but yeah, we just need to sit and do the work. So there are no obstacles uh, except time <laughs> to do that. So that's it. That's fine for me. All right, well, it's good to hear. Um, I will I will trust that your meeting at four o'clock in the morning my time will go well, and I will uh, I look forward to hearing uh, what the result is and any You're updates. You're not Eric. No, I think I'm going to pass on that one. It's a, it's just a little before I want to get up. Maybe if it was five, I would consider. No, no, I wouldn't. Well, okay, next time we will do five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah, that's not a great idea. Um, no. But, we, uh, I was the one who like scheduled it and proposed the times, and uh, we didn't take non-Europeans into consideration at all to to try to find the time. Uh, I, so, I am very much joking. Yeah. It is, it's not a problem uh, at <laughs> all. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, so we'll we'll hear more about that. I mean, maybe if you have an update tomorrow, you can email it. But if not, then we will see at the next meet next week. Okay, um, we can then write a summary then when it's interest. So I will, we will write some summary after the meeting and send it. Okay, sounds okay. great. That's great. Um, board farm status. I don't think there's anything from my end. Uh, Paul, did did you actually did you end up sending a, a board to me? I I've been out of the office all week, so I don't don't know. I I actually didn't. Apologies for that. I, I no thought problem. we were more extreme than we were. <laughs> so yeah, we might have to wait a little while longer. Oh, okay. Well, that's no problem. All right. Then we will wait for that. I haven't done anything else related to that this week. I've been out. Uh, Mike, anything from your end? No, no nothing exciting, unfortunately. Just minor stuff. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyone else have anything related to Board Farm? All right. Uh, Funding OpenWRT projects. Uh, 
pretty much the same as before. We haven't had a whole lot change. Uh, Felix isn't here, so we can't get an update from him. Um, I'm going to actually email him after this meeting and, and kind of check in and see what, how things are going. Um, uh, we I have a proposal from Luca that is open and that we may be approving. I, I think it's up to the committee to decide on that, but um, that's up, and we're still we're still waiting on some proposals from some folks in the community who who committed to you know saying that they're going to send the proposal, so I assume we're going to get it uh, next uh, week or so. But obviously, with the holidays, everything is a little slower than normal, um, understandably. Um, <clears throat> also, uh, so I was not on the meeting last week, but mm -hmm. last week on Friday, or uh, not Friday, on uh, Monday, mm -hmm. um, we, you, Eric, was, were also on, on the call regarding the uh, network UBAS thing yes. uh, that we had, so I don't know if you shared these updates uh, on the meeting or not, or... No, I, 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 now that I think about it, I don't think I did. Do you want to give a, a, a quick summary and update? Okay, so, <clears throat> sorry. So we had, uh, when we saw that there is a lot of similarities with what is being proposed and uh, what we have developed uh, for, for Inteno, the OWSD. So, first of all, everybody on the call knows what OWSD is. I would say raise your hands in the office, but <laughs> uh, I couldn't see those. Anyway, so OWSD. So uh, Inteno sent a summary uh, regarding this project to the, to the list, but in a nutshell, uh, they had a requirement. They wanted to have more responsive uh, web interface, and uh, it was decided that uh, they will use web sockets because um, in, in WebSocket communication, you can have uh, also uh, event-driven uh, web UI. So, for example, some, you get a new notification in the log, you would get immediately um, notification in the, in the web page. Uh, you do, uh, web page doesn't need to go to us, to the backend, to the router, hey, is there something new, hey, is there something new? No, when something happens, you can get notification. So basically, that was what was developed for their web UI. And uh, I'd say we did a pretty good job because uh, we developed this uh, here in Croatia, in our office, and then uh, we flew to Inten office and uh, literally within a day, uh, UHTTPD, the current web server in OpenWRT was re replaced and uh, things worked just fine. And uh, afterwards, uh, more and more features was, were added, etc., etc. So right now it's a really, really uh, good uh, web server which offers uh, all, all that UHTTPD offers plus some other things which are not currently supported in OpenWRT. So this is, of course, open source. It's on Inteno's uh, official GitHub. Uh, not GitHub, but Git. Uh, at one point in time, it will be on GitHub. OK, so that, that, that's the short history. So next project we had in, with Inteno was uh, <coughs> they wanted to have networked UBUS. So uh, their customers have buy more than one device and put it in user's home. So you have, let's say, master access point, and then you have repeaters. So basically, the use case was when you change a Wi-Fi password on one device, it should get replicated across all of the devices. Um, basically, uh, we reused uh, this OWS daemon, which was uh, initially uh, intended for web UI only, but it really offered uh, many of uh, the things needed in this other project as well. So we moved forward after a lot of tinkering and uh, also discussing it with the community. Uh, we went forward with the implementation. Uh, so now basically we are uh, pretty far away. So anything that happens on UBUS on uh, one device, uh, 
can be seen on other devices and when you can actually also call UBUS messages to other devices as well. Uh, Dennis made a really nice video of uh, show, showcasing the, the technology. I don't know if, Eric, did you at least take a look at that? I did look at the video. It was pretty cool, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, so basically <clears throat> when, uh, uh, when Daniel went forward with his proposals, we just pointed out that uh, this is already in existence and uh, had some discussions on um, how to move forward with, uh, with, with that and uh, what is the overlap. Um, as a summary of a, of a talk, uh, we sent one on the mailing list. Um, basically, we showcased what we have. We tried to uh, understand some of the requirements uh, Felix and Daniel were proposing. To me, they were not that clear, to be quite honest, because um, at one, in one hand, it is being discussed uh, how modeling is done, uh, and by modeling I mean data modeling, so things like TR069 models and things like Yang models. So and one, and one part of the discussion is regarding modeling, and the second part of the discussion is regarding the transport and how to connect multiple devices via UBUS. Um, we, conclu we concluded the meeting um, by uh, by sharing the, the code and pointers to the code. Uh, and I think Felix and others said they will take a look. But uh, yeah, and we also said that we will have a meeting in a week or two weeks time from that. And uh, yeah, it's Christmas time, so we are late with that as well. So I think the discussions will follow up in um, January. But in any case, um, the technology the Inteno has uh, asked for and uh, developed is pretty good, and uh, I'm pushing them a bit to to get this in a more public uh, public fashion, so it's not on their GitHub, but uh, on their Git, but on GitHub and uh, so it's more visible so but as uh, as discussed now i think this will most likely happen uh, in some time time frame in january so that would be the update on, on that that one any questions okay Thank you, Luca. No, I, I think you. I think uh, it was it was a really interesting discussion. Um, yeah, I think when Daniel is uh, is finalizing his proposal, I, the you know the kind of where this goes as relates to the network side, um, I've encouraged him to um, focus as much as possible at first, at least, on the the issue of sensor of of connecting different types of sensors. Um, and I haven't heard anything back from them in a week. But again, everybody's really busy with the end of the year and everything. So um, I'll, I'm just going to check in again. Um, because really, if he can get the sensor platform, that system built, then it, whatever you put on top of it what, for networking, that's it's kind of uh, optional, whatever you do. If anything, you may have no need for networking of it. Um, but yeah, no, I, I agree that, that there is some overlap with what his initial proposal was. Um, it's pretty broad, so um, it was good to have that discussion. I'd be curious to definitely see where it goes after this. Uh, all right, anything else about funding OpenWRT projects and, and whatnot? Similar? All right, uh, regulatory update. There's no real update. Um, I'm going to be posting a blog um, on the um, the process that that we've had so far and the uh, and uh, the finalized um, document. 
Uh, I've been waiting for the FCC to actually post the finalized document. It just simply needs to get posted to their website. There isn't really anything that needs to happen, um, but uh, it hasn't been posted yet. So I, I got a clarification that I can post the one that we, the finalized version that the committee submitted to be approved. I can post a copy of that myself uh, on, on the purple uh, blog. So I'm going to post a blog on that to just summarize that. Um, but other than that, no real update. I, I don't think there's anything, any changes that are going to happen, um, you know, any more real discussion that's going to happen this year with the holidays coming up. So um, nothing new there. Um, Open WRT Summit, nothing new. That uh, We're going to have a meeting next month. I, I think I have to set the time. I have to send out a, um, a doodle for that. So I will do that uh, probably, you know, next couple of days. Um, carrier interest group, no update there. Um, it's uh, We're meeting again at the end of January. Um, we're kind of waiting on some discussion uh, that uh, particularly Broadcom has to do internally and on scheduling and, and when when it may work for them, um, the various uh, you know common API effort and uh, and that. So there's no real update there either. Um, any other uh, comments or questions on any of these topics or any other topic related to open WRT? Um, kind of a short meeting this week, but hi, Hauke here. Hey there. Um, I haven't been at the beginning. I joined later. Yep. So, um, I have a general question about the TR69 stuff. Mm -hmm. So what should, what what was, will probably be the result of this, let's say, in half a year or whatever? Um, so will this just be a, a framework so that the others can put their TR69 stack and all this stuff on top of it, uh, put it onto it? Or is it more, or will there also be a implementation of the, um, TR69 available, so one can just take this open source uh, implementation and use it in an enterprise environment or whatever? Um, I think it's both. There will be, I mean, there's going to be a general framework for, for creating, um, you know, installing your own TR069 stack, but there are going to be two open source versions. Um, um, the ADB one is is already open sourced, and just the integration work needs to happen, um, and the, which Luca is going to work on, and the uh, Soft at Home one is going to be you know open sourced. It, you know it's been committed, and Luca's already worked some on that, um, and and worked on getting that ready for Open WRT integration. So it's it's really a situation of you pick you pick you know if you want your own stack, then you then you just you know implement the API and it works. Um, if you want, uh, if you want to use a stack that's already existed, that's under an open source license, you can do that too. So um, I think that's that that's where it is. There was when we initially met in June, there was like these really kind of like broad set of things, and and I'm offhand would have to review what exactly they all were. But the first step was really getting this so that you can kind of plug in any stack that works. Um, and allows people to reuse the work that they've already done when it comes to their TR069 stacks. Okay, yeah, well, that's interesting. So in, let's say, half a year or whatever, we can could use ADBs or soft at home stack with normal open WRT. Yeah, that's nice. Yep. Okay. Definitely. Eric? Yep. Um, since I've missed a couple of weeks, I don't know whether there's been any talk of OpenWRT lead communications. What's going on there? Um, well, I mean, I think it's positive. I mean, Hauke and and Luca, would you like to comment? On? I can also summarize what I've seen in the in the emails. So it's up to you. Um. We are definitely talking, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think we have a, another meeting next week, so stay tuned. Okay. Right. Hauke? Any? Uh, 
Yes, yeah, well, that's correct what Lucas said. Uh, next week, I don't, I think Monday. Um, yes, we, we talked and uh, I hope Luca, Imre and uh, Sultan should have access to the lead repository. Um, yeah, and it's going forward, so for me it looks uh, good. Yeah, but yeah, basically the current agreement is that, uh, sorry, sorry, let's, sorry, the current discussion is that uh, we will um, check what has been committed into OpenWRT uh, since the fork, uh, do a list of what needs to be uh, ported over into lead, and, and basically we go ahead and commit that into the lead tree, and at some point later uh, we will use the lead tree as a base for the future OpenWRT trunk usage and trunk development. Okay, thanks very much. Uh, that, that, that doesn't necessarily mean, uh, or, or that doesn't mean 100% that, that this will happen, but, yeah. uh, because there, there, are, there are obviously a lot of, lot of things which we need to discuss, uh, but, but that's the current agreement from both parties at this time. Thanks. I'll, yeah, I'll take it as a uh, as a FYI rather than a fact or anything. But it's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thanks, Sultan. Yeah. No, I I think it's a positive step. So I, I it's uh I'm glad glad things are moving forward in that direction. So great to hear. Yeah. But yeah. Basically, we 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 basically we 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 also look these things and discussions as positive steps. We are kind of excited about about these on both sides. I think Hauke. Um So yeah, we are we are discussing, and and we and we are making small steps. That's great. Thanks, Sultan. Um, thank you very much. Any other uh, questions or comments you want to talk about? All right. Um, I then we can uh, we can call it a meeting then. Um, thanks everyone for joining. Um, really appreciate the turnout and uh, talk to everyone next week. Whoever is uh, still still in, uh, working and uh, available next week before Christmas. Uh, I will be. <laughs> yeah, I will be too. Yeah.